Today we will talk about the internet protocols. Let's begin. What is network? A network is a connection between multiple computers that allows data to be transferred between them. LAN stands for Local Area Network. This is a network with limited ranges, such as offices or homes, whereas the Internet is global. The Internet has evolved into one of the most vital tools in today's society. It connects people from all over the world and provides access to a wealth of information. However, the Internet can be a dangerous place, and it is critical to be aware of the risks before using it. Let me tell you a story. I have a friend in whom I have complete trust. However, he lied to me one day, which caused me to lose trust in him. This demonstrates the importance of being open and honest at all times. When we lose someone's trust, we can never regain it in the same way. That shows the importance of the same standards. History of Internet The Internet started in the 1960s as a way for government researchers to share information. However, computers in the 1960s were large and immobile, and in order to make use of information stored in any one computer, one had to either travel to the site of the computer or have magnetic computer tapes sent through the conventional postal system. Another catalyst in the formation of the Internet was the heating up of the Cold War. The Soviet Union's launch of the Sputnik satellite spurred the U.S. Defense Department to consider ways information could still be disseminated even after a nuclear attack. This eventually led to the formation of the ARPANET, Advanced Research Projects Agency Network, the network that ultimately evolved into what we now know as the Internet. ARPANET was a great success but membership was limited to certain academic and research organizations who had contracts with the Defense Department. In response to this, other networks were created to provide information sharing. January 1, 1983, is considered the official birthday of the Internet. Prior to this, the various computer networks did not have a standard way to communicate. Then, a new communications protocol was established called Transmission Control Protocol, Internet Protocol, TCP, IP. This allowed different kinds of computers on different networks to talk to each other. ARPANET and the Defense Data Network officially changed to the TCP, IP standard on January 1, 1983, the birth of the Internet. A universal language could now connect all networks. What is IP? The Internet Protocol Address, IP address, is the Internet's backbone. They are responsible for allowing devices to communicate with one another by converting human-readable web addresses into a series of numbers that computers can comprehend. We wouldn't be able to access the Internet or any of the websites we visit on a daily basis if we didn't have IP addresses. As the number of devices that must connect to the Internet grows, so does the significance of IP addresses. What are ports? Ports are a type of standardized channel. We use the IP, port standard or a domain, port, such as google.com, 80. However, some standards have predefined ports, such as HTTP, which is 80 by default, and HTTPS, which is 443. We can define any port between 1 and 9999, but most of the ports up to 2000 are reserved for special functions such as 22 as SSH or SMTP25 so occupying them can be dangerous. HTTP and HTML. We have a website on port 80. This is where domains are focused. HTML and JavaScript are standard for display, but this is defined by internet browsers. Encryption HTTPS. HTTPS adds encryption to data transfers from HTTP websites. The encryption code is provided by the server, and it provides a higher level of security for sensitive data. HTTPS is available on port 443. Encryption is provided by special SSL certificates, which website owners can purchase and encode. Certificates come in a variety of levels, each with its own set of information encoded, such as domain validated, organization validated, and extended validation with extra legal validation. SSH. Secure Shell, SSH is the connection to the host that allows access to the server and work from the command line. Standard SSH port is 22. FTP and SFTP, the file transfer protocol, FTP, allows you to easily transfer files on port 21. Secured version is SFTP which uses port 22. 
Of course, there are many more protocols like IMAP or POP3 for emails or tools like Apache, Nginx and more. But now you see how many different functions can be used by different ports and why they should be separated. In conclusion, the internet has both pros and cons. It is important to be aware of both when using the internet in order to stay safe and get the most out of this powerful tool. The bottom line is that the internet is here to stay, so let's make the most of it. Understanding how internet communication works can help you a lot in determining what you can provide and how. What do you know about internet connection? Let us know in the comments below. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more videos like this. Thank you for watching and see you in the next one.